This video will discuss dementia with Lewy bodies and show images of a human brain affected by this condition. As you know, dementia with Lewy bodies was recently attributed to the death of Robin Williams. First, let's define dementia. Dementia is a deficit in two or more of the following areas, memory, communication, focus, reasoning, and visual perception. Visual perception is how the brain interprets visual information. Importantly, a deficit in brain function must be so severe as to make daily activities difficult. Dementia with Lewy bodies causes fluctuations in alertness, hallucinations, falls, dizziness, confusion, memory loss, and difficulty sleeping. It is also characterized by Parkinson's disease-like movements, such as rigidity, resting tremor, and bradykinesia, or slow movements. Lewy bodies are protein deposits in nerve cells, and alpha-synuclein is the major component of Lewy bodies. Lewy bodies are thought to cause nerve damage and loss of nerves. The regions of the brain affected by Lewy bodies determines which neurologic deficits will occur. It is important to know that dementia with Lewy bodies has characteristics of both Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, which makes diagnosing this condition challenging. Dementia with Lewy bodies and Alzheimer's disease both cause memory problems, while dementia with Lewy bodies and Parkinson's disease cause problems with movement. The cause of dementia with Lewy bodies is unknown, but it tends to affect individuals older than 60, and death occurs about eight years after disease onset. Dementia with Lewy bodies can only be definitively diagnosed by dissecting the brain at an autopsy. So tests that are performed on the patient are done to exclude conditions other than dementia with Lewy bodies. Medications used to treat dementia with Lewy bodies are often the same as those used to treat Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Now we will look at how dementia with Lewy bodies affects the brain. But first you need to know basic brain anatomy. This is a human brain. Here the brain has been sectioned. To keep things simple, I will just show you the five main regions of the brain affected by dementia with Lewy bodies. The cerebral cortex is the brain's outer layer. It consists of gray matter and white matter. The hippocampus is a seahorse shaped region at the base of the brain which plays a role in memory processing. In the brainstem, there are two regions we will focus on. There is a region of the midbrain known as the substantia nigra, and in the pons, there is a region known as the locus ceruleus. Finally, there is a region at the base of the brain known as the nucleus basalis of minor. These five regions are affected in dementia with Lewy bodies. Now we will examine each of these areas with a microscope. The substantia nigra consists of black pigmented neurons which produce dopamine. Here we can see a neuron with a nucleus and black pigment in the cytoplasm. Here is a neuronal process which transmits signals to other regions of the brain. Here is an abnormal neuron which was found in the brain of an individual with dementia with Lewy bodies. You can see a round pink structure in the cytoplasm of the cell. This is a Lewy body. Here are other Lewy bodies that were found. The middle structure is actually known as a pale body because it is not surrounded by a white halo which can be seen surrounding the other two Lewy bodies. A pale body is thought to be a precursor of a Lewy body. Lewy bodies can also be seen using an antibody against alpha-synuclein. The Lewy bodies appear as brown, round structures. Lewy neurites are simply neuronal processes containing alpha-synuclein. They are also found in the brains of individuals with dementia with Lewy bodies. Lewy bodies are thought to cause cell death resulting in nerve loss. In the substantia nigra, this means less dopamine is produced. This causes problems with movement in patients with both dementia with Lewy bodies and patients with Parkinson's disease. It is important to distinguish Lewy bodies from another structure known as a Marinesco body, which is a pink structure found in the nucleus of the cell instead of the cytoplasm. Marinesco bodies are seen in elderly individuals as well as those with dementia with Lewy bodies. 
Earlier I showed you that the cerebral cortex consists of gray matter and white matter. However, it will be difficult for you to see this distinction using a routine H&E stain. Using a Bielshowski stain, the gray and white matter can easily be distinguished. White matter consists of neuronal processes, while gray matter consists of neuronal nuclei. Here is a closer look at the nucleus of a neuron. It is the gray matter which is most affected by dementia with Lewy bodies. Here we can see a Lewy body in the cerebral cortex, and an alpha-synuclein stain can be used for confirmation. Here, additional Lewy bodies can be seen using an alpha-synuclein stain. The locus ceruleus is a small black region in the brainstem where Lewy bodies can also be seen. The hippocampus can also be affected by Lewy bodies. On the left, we can see a normal appearing hippocampus, while on the right, we see neuronal loss in the hippocampus of an individual with dementia with Lewy bodies. As I said earlier, dementia with Lewy bodies has features of Parkinson's disease. If dementia develops within a year or prior to the onset of Parkinson's disease, then a diagnosis of dementia with Lewy bodies may be made. If dementia develops one year or more after the onset of Parkinson's disease, then a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease with dementia may be made. If the time frame cannot be determined, then the term Lewy body disease may be used. Importantly, Parkinson's disease and dementia with Lewy bodies both have Lewy bodies in the substantia nigra and cerebral cortex. The diagnosis of dementia with Lewy bodies can be made with confidence if Lewy bodies first affect the substantia nigra, causing movement problems, and then affect the cerebral cortex, causing dementia. However, if dementia occurs before movement problems, then it is a challenge to distinguish Alzheimer's disease from dementia with Lewy bodies. Now, I will show you Alzheimer's disease findings in the brain of an individual with dementia with Lewy bodies. Remember, Alzheimer's disease findings are common in individuals with dementia with Lewy bodies. First, we will look at the cerebral cortex. When using a Bielshowski stain, normal neurons in the cerebral cortex have brown cytoplasm. However, abnormal neurons have black cytoplasm. This is called a neurofibrillary tangle. Simply put, neurofibrillary tangles consist of hyperphosphorylated tau protein. Amyloid plaques can also be seen with a Bielshowski stain. And amyloid plaques can be seen on standard H&E staining. Simply put, amyloid plaques consist of amyloid beta peptide. Blood vessels can also be affected by amyloid. On the left, a normal vessel is flexible with a thin wall. The middle vessel has amyloid in its wall and is round and thick. These vessels are rigid and may bleed. On the right, a Congo red stain confirms the presence of amyloid in the vessel wall. Another feature of Alzheimer's disease are hyrano bodies, which are pink rod-shaped structures. Granulovacuolar degeneration of the cytoplasm is another feature. Lastly, it is important to know that both Alzheimer's disease and dementia with Lewy bodies result in loss of neurons in the nucleus spacialis of Minert, which results in decreased production of acetylcholine. The definitive diagnosis of dementia with Lewy bodies can be made with the assistance of a neuropathologist who examines the brain. The neuropathologist must take sections from appropriate areas in order to determine if Lewy bodies are present in the cerebral cortex and if changes of Alzheimer's disease are present. Dementia with Lewy bodies is a poorly understood neurodegenerative condition that has gained attention due to the death of Robin Williams. Hopefully this attention will lead to increased research efforts and a better understanding of the disease and how to treat it. Thank you for watching.